Now, India is touching new heights. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi made this remark when he inaugurated one of the largest defense aerospace exhibitions in the world. The biennial event known as Aero India is taking place at the Indian Air Force Station in Bengaluru. The show began with a fly past which culminated into a Trishul formation in the sky by the Indian Air Force. After this, the Prime Minister, Defense Minister and State's Chief Minister addressed participants. During his speech, Prime Minister Narendra Modi highlighted India's ambition of exporting defense equipment worth $5 billion by next year. He also highlighted India's journey from being a defense importer to becoming a major defense exporter. जो देश दशकों से सबसे बड़ा डिफेंस इंपोर्टर था वो अब दुनिया के 75 देशों को डिफेंस इक्विपमेंट एक्सपोर्ट कर रहा है हमारा लक्ष्य है कि 2024-25 तक हम एक्सपोर्ट के इस आंकड़े को डेढ़ बिलियन से बढ़ाकर पांच बिलियन डॉलर तक ले जाएंगे the five-day event Aero India is aimed at building new technology for the Indian aviation industry. This is the 14th edition of the show and more than 800 companies are exhibiting at the event. Several made in India aircraft are on display showcasing India's growing stature of a defense aerospace power. Some of these aircraft and other defense equipments are already being exported to friendly foreign nations but India likes to take such exports further in volume. Additionally, the Indian Defence Minister will be hosting the Defence Minister's conclave. Defence Ministers from 32 nations will take part in this meeting while talking specifically about the Air Force Chiefs. 30 nations are expected to send their senior Air Force officials. This will help to boost potential exchange of ideas, best practices and increased understanding at the force leadership level. For more on this, our correspondent Siddharth MP has sent us this report from Bengaluru. The 14th and the largest ever edition of Aero India, Asia's largest aerospace and defense exhibition, got off to a flying start at the Yelahanka Air Force Base here where we're standing. And this was an event inaugurated by the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. And uh, the event featured several fly paths by almost 67 aircraft, a wide range of aircraft operated by the Indian Air Force, including frontline fighters such as the Russian Origin MiG-29 and the Sukhoi-30 MKI. And of course, the latest induction, the Dassault Rafale uh, aircraft from France. Of course, the key focus areas of this event were the indigenous aircraft such as the uh, Tejas light combat aircraft manufactured by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited and also some of the helicopters including the light combat helicopter Prachand and also the light utility helicopter and advanced light helicopter, all of these which are manufactured in India. Speaking here, the Prime Minister emphasized the fact that India has gone from being a net importer of defense hardware and systems to being an exporter and indigenous manufacturer of wide variety of Indi uh, hardware in India. So he took the examples of the light combat aircraft Tejas for the Indian Air Force and of course the uh, indigenous aircraft carrier Vikrant built by the Cochin Shipyard Limited, a government run shipyard in India. So the Prime Minister also mentioned that Aero India is not just an exhibition or an expo but it's a showcase of India's aerospace and defense prowess. The Prime Minister also went on to set an ambitious goal by saying that India's defense exports by the year 2024-25 should almost triple to to 5 billion US dollars. This of course is a five day event and there are several highlights including meetings between the Indian Defense Minister and Defense Ministers from 30 friendly foreign nations and also Air Force Chiefs from as many nations are here. So this is the event that will witness a lot of uh, collaboration, understanding and exchange of ideas between these nations. With video journalist Tarak Ram, Siddharth MP, Vyond, World is One.